If anybody is fit enough to be immortal and unaging, it's the Kung Fu star. They need to be in exquisite physical condition at all times, but even they are not immune to the vicious powers of old father time. He comes for us all, and even them, and you won't believe what some of them look like now. This is what these Kung Fu stars look like today. Number 20. Gordon Liu We begin looking at what these kung fu stars look like today with a man who is synonymous with being one of the biggest kung fu stars to ever grace the screen, but also one who gave a wealth of inspiration to the Wu-Tang Clan. Gordon Liu is a kung fu actor and martial artist most famously known for his roles in a plethora of martial arts movies, and to most avid fans of the genre, there is no mistaking him. The apex of his career in martial arts cinema comes in the form of The 36th Chamber of Shaolin, where he played the role of a young man who seeks revenge against oppressive rulers and trains in martial arts at the Shaolin Temple. This film is considered to be one of the biggest classics in the martial arts genre and helped establish not only Gordon Liu as a martial artist legend, but also inspired popular rap group The Wu-Tang Clan, who released their groundbreaking effort Enter the Wu-Tang and cemented themselves on the playlists of rap fans everywhere. Later in his career, Gordon Liu appeared in numerous other martial arts films, which included Kill Bill's Volume 1 and 2, where he played the role of Pai Mei, a legendary kung fu master. Director Quentin Tarantino had loved his work, and with roles in the Kill Bill films, Liu's career saw a resurgence, especially in the American market. Throughout his career, Gordon Liu was seen as an inspiration to many, and he enjoyed longevity in his success up until suffering a stroke in 2011. Afterwards, he would cancel all of his public engagements and has not been seen in the limelight since. Many stars of the genre have had specific looks and their fans may often wonder what these kung fu stars look like today. However, Gordon Liu's iconic bald head and chiseled physique will never be forgotten by those who love and admire his classic work. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Bolo Young There are not many stars from the world of Hong Kong action cinema that can say they once went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jean-Claude Van Damme. However, Bolo Young is proud of not only having that distinction, but doing so twice. Bolo was a big star in kung fu cinema and got his first taste of the action at the age of 10, training under some of the best martial arts masters that could be found at the time. As he grew, he would find himself gracing the silver screen and became renowned in the martial arts world, as well as movies for his impressive size, physique, and imposing presence. Often cast as the villain, he played his part of perfection in a way that went well beyond the stereotypes and tropes of classic Hong Kong format. He is perhaps most famous to American audiences for having played the role of Chong Lee in the movie Bloodsport, where he portrayed a ruthless and unbeatable martial artist in an underground fighting tournament. This role would cement his status as one of the most memorable villains in martial arts cinema history, especially since he was to eventually square off against the one and only Jean-Claude Van Damme at the film's climax. His physical presence and ability to perform demanding fight choreography made him a sought-after actor in the genre, so much that he would be invited back to work with Van Damme again in a later film titled Double Impact. Bolo Young's contributions to martial arts cinema are undeniable, and he remains a beloved figure amongst fans of action films while also being remembered for his impressive body and unforgettable emotive face. He had a career in cinema that lasted over four decades, with his last appearance on the silver screen having been in 2017. Number 18. Lo Mang Lo Mang was known for his dedication to martial arts and his extensive training and knowledge in various disciplines of martial arts, which included kung fu and acrobatics. As with many actors from the Hong Kong martial arts scene, Mang is well known for his work with the famous Shaw Brothers Studios, along with his participation in the Venom Mob, a group of actors known for their exceptional martial arts skills. One of Mang's most iconic roles came in the 1978 film The Five Deadly Venoms, and in this film, he portrayed a Venom mob member named Toad. As was classic for the style of film, 
Each member of the mob had a unique martial arts style named after an animal. In addition to the five deadly Venoms, Lo Mang also appeared in numerous other films, often alongside fellow Venom mob members, in a way that would not be much different than the Rat Pack in the days of Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. Along with his contemporaries like Bruce Lee, Donnie Yen, Gordon Liu, and more, he would help to shape and popularize kung fu movies to a more broad and eclectic audience. His dedication to martial arts, combined with his impressive physical abilities and his association with the Venom Mob, had made him a prominent figure in the world of martial arts cinema, and he's well remembered for the films he made. Now in his more advanced years at the age of 71, he is still quite involved in Asian cinema, but not so much in the physical ways that his classic fans would know him for. His last appearance in a film would be in 2019, in the fourth installment of the Ip Man franchise, these days, though, he's taken a more lighthearted approach to the screen and shifted gears to become more of a comedy actor. Number 17. Donnie Yen If there's one star of classic kung fu cinema that may be well recognized as much as Bruce Lee, it just might be Donnie Yen. Yen is a famous actor and martial artist who has graced the screen in everything from the Ip Man franchise to working for Disney of all places in films like Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. His remarkable martial arts skills, combined with a wealth of acting talent, have made him a beloved figure in the world of cinema and martial arts. Yen could very easily be credited for the popularity of the Wing Chun style of kung fu through his appearance as the legendary Ip Man. This franchise would also be responsible for bringing Yen to the forefront of global cinema and make his face recognizable to a worldwide audience. As a child, he began training in the wushu style along with Tai Chi, later going on to master incredible skills in boxing, jujitsu, and other styles, which had made him a well-versed and sought-after action star. This amazing dedication would see him rubbing shoulders with the likes of those such as Vin Diesel, Forrest Whitaker, Wesley Snipes, and more. And in addition to his action films, he's also done some comedy choreography for video games and has replaced Jet Li in more movies than he can keep track of. His discipline and commitment to his craft is still paying off in his 60s, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. He could most recently be seen alongside Hollywood icon Keanu Reeves in the fourth installment of the John Wick action film series. Number 16. Sammo Hung Sammo Hung is a legend and multifaceted jack-of-all-trades who is well known for his martial arts skills, acting, directing, and amazing choreography in action films. His influence on the genre, dedication to authentic fight scenes, and commitment to promoting Chinese martial arts have made him a beloved and respected figure in the world of entertainment. Having begun his career in the 1960s when he was just a child, he's often characterized as a triple threat in the entertainment industry. Over the last five decades, Hung has seen a long-standing career where he has excelled as an actor, director, and choreographer. He received his introduction to the Western world through his role as the plump and comedic martial artist in the TV series Martial Law, afterwards going on to star alongside those like Chuck Norris and Walker, Texas Ranger. His career spans a far more broad palette than this, however, and to date, he has actually starred in 75 films and worked as a director or in a behind-the-scenes role in well over 200 more. Sammo Hung gained both notoriety and an immense amount of respect from his peers and fans for his strong attention to making fight scenes more real than the traditional outlandish orgies of violence that Hong Kong cinema was classically known for. This has led to collaborations with such Hollywood icons as Jackie Chan and Donnie Yen, and much like Donnie Yen, Hung is trained in multiple disciplines, which includes Wing Chun. His achievements in acting, directing, and cinema overall have gained him the respect and acclaim of many within the industry, and also made him the proud owner of a star on the Chinese version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, known as the Avenue of Stars. Number 15. Ji Han Jai there are not many in life who can say that they have starred in an incredibly popular movie with Bruce Lee, created their very own style of kung fu, and also became a well-respected and loved politician. But for Ji Han Jai, he's lived a life that's well full of these accomplishments and more. Originally from South Korea, Jai is known for his exceptional skills in martial arts, having been the creator of Hua Rang Du and Hapkido, an art form that combines various techniques and skill sets while employing joint locks throws and more. And perhaps one impressive point of his resume is that he was even once one of Bruce Lee's former martial arts instructors. 
having played a significant role in shaping Lee's martial arts philosophy and techniques. Look, point this is my knee. Not only known for his acting abilities and skill set in martial arts, his physical prowess and strength became legendary as well, demonstrated notably by his ability to break 12 concrete blocks with a single strike. Beyond his martial arts achievements, Ji Han Jai has dedicated his life to teaching and sharing his knowledge with students worldwide. His life's work continues to inspire and impact martial artists and enthusiasts all around the globe, making him a respected figure in the martial arts world. Though his stint in kung fu films only lasted for less than a handful of on-screen appearances, his work in furthering the global popularity of martial arts and his involvement in its promotion is still going strong, even today, well into his 80s. Number 14. Stephen Chow Stephen Chow is quite the different breed in the annals of kung fu cinema and the history of the Hong Kong movie scene where others like Donnie Yen, Bruce Lee, and the classic actors who made the genre come into the mainstream with serious storylines, spectacular battles, and feats of strength and skill, Stephen Chow took a more comical approach. While his contributions to Hong Kong cinema are no lesser than his peers, Chow has paved his way making people laugh rather than put them in awe and amazement. Uh, no, I think it's a chicken. <laughs> this is a claim. This is a claim. He rose to prominence in the 90s, but may be best known amongst a global crowd for having starred in a comedy fighting action flick by the name of Kung Fu Hustle. One of the key elements of Stephen Chow's success is his ability to blend humor with martial arts and action sequences. And in movies like Kung Fu Hustle and Shaolin Soccer, he was able to gracefully combine slapstick style comedy with awe inspiring martial arts choreography earning him international acclaim. Kung Fu Hustle in particular is considered a modern classic of Hong Kong cinema. Chow not only starred in the film, but also directed and co-wrote it. The movie's clever blending of humor and martial arts set a brand new standard for the action comedy genre when it came to martial arts, perhaps even inspiring a new generation of films and stars. Even though his writing and on-screen actions tend to be on the more silly side, his films often carry messages of perseverance, friendship, and the triumph of the underdog. This universal appeal has made his movies resonate with audiences of all ages. Stephen Chow has also received numerous awards and accolades over the life of his career, having been recognized for his outstanding contributions to cinema, both in Hong Kong and on the global stage. But despite his fame and success, Chow is known for being a private individual, rarely granting any interviews or making public appearances. He would take a step back and out of the view of the camera's lens after 2008, choosing to focus more on directing and producing films that he was passionate about. And now, in his early 60s, he's still a known name and mainstay in the industry, even if it is from the director's chair and not in front of audiences for their viewing pleasure. Number 13. Huang Zhang Li Huang Zhang Li's best claim to fame is perhaps his portrayal of Thunderleg in Bruce Lee's The Game of Death. Often cast as a villain throughout his career, in this film, he played the arch-nemesis who gave audiences a rather epic battle against Bruce Lee and provided one of the more remembered scenes in Hong Kong action films. His acrobatic and high-kicking fighting style, often accompanied by a signature cry, made him a memorable antagonist in several martial arts films during the 1970s and 1980s and his work can be seen all across the board, even having inspired and starred alongside the likes of the legendary Jackie Chan. In addition to being a great actor, he was also an acclaimed martial artist in competition, having studied with the likes of the legendary Ji Han Jai, but now, in his 70s, he hasn't acted in anything since 2009, and not much is really known about his activities today. Number 12. Tony Ja. Amongst the kung fu action stars that many think about in the form of those like Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, and Gordon Liu, Tony Ja is a spring chicken. Born in 1976 at a time the Hong Kong action industry was raging at its hottest, Ja was just an infant but with stardom in his future. Whereas stars like Bruce Lee are iconically known for their leading roles, Ja has found his main success as a stuntman, choreographer, and body double for some of the more well-known stars of today. Though he's had some starring roles, his dedication to authenticity, along with a plethora of knowledge in various martial arts disciplines, have made him a highly desired stunt coordinator and fight choreographer. Cue this, or you want to punch this, 
Oh, you want to pawns? He's had a varied amount of success, both in his homeland as well as abroad in the Western world of action films, and much like his contemporaries, like Jackie Chan, he has a strong reputation for doing his own stunts, often without the use of CGI, green screen, wiring, or the use of a body double. Today in his 40s, he is still very involved in action films, having released a movie every single year since 2007. His blending of styles, along with his physical abilities and knowledge of the industry, will no doubt carry him forward for many decades to come. Number 11. David Chang David Chang is a highly regarded actor and martial artist known for his significant contributions to Hong Kong cinema that go all the way back to when he was but a young toddler at the age of four. With a career spanning the entirety of his life, Chang has become an iconic figure in the world of action films and may be responsible for some of the most beloved kung fu movies of all time. Chang's rise to fame began in the 1960s when he joined the Shaw Brothers studio, first becoming a fight instructor and stuntman before being recognized as having talent that transcended behind-the-scenes work. He would soon find himself in front of the lens, showcasing his talents and abilities to an ever-growing audience. One of his most memorable roles was in the classic film The One-Armed Swordsman. Chang portrayed a character who loses an arm but continues to hone his skills as a martial artist while becoming a legendary figure in the process. The film's success helped to establish Chang as a martial arts movie star and icon for many years to come. While involved with the Shaw Brothers, he had formed a group known as the Iron Triangle, along with fellow actor T. Lung. They would go on to star in several iconic films which solidified a dedicated fan base while also earning them critical acclaim. And like many of his peers and contemporaries, Chang would also venture into directing and producing films. It would be his versatility in both the combination of his acting and filmmaking that further solidified his influence in the industry. Now in his late 70s, he's enjoying a full life in the industry, and even though he has settled down with his family in Canada, he still makes occasional trips back to Hong Kong to participate in productions, sharing his expertise and wisdom with new generations to come. Number 10. Philip Ree Philip Ree is certainly not the most well-known or recognizable out of the kung fu stars across the board, and it's a rather puzzling mystery as to why he's even on this list to begin with. He was born in South Korea, but in his toddler years would move to the United States and be raised in California. Eventually, he joined the United States Olympic Taekwondo team, where he faced off against the country that he was born in, and this would end up becoming the inspiration for a series of films under the title of Best of the Best. Practices, yes. Knowledge is power. After a handful of these films, he would go on to do a couple more movies that nobody's ever heard of, and today, he is more than likely teaching Taekwondo in a dojo somewhere in a strip ball. By the looks of his Instagram page, he's enjoying a life of hanging out with people at fancy dinners, while also trying to claim that the new Cobra Kai show on Netflix is ripping off his old movies from the late 80s and early 90s, despite the fact that The Karate Kid came along before his movies did in the first place. But maybe that's another argument for a different day. Number 9. Cheng Pei Pei when it comes to the Hong Kong kung fu film genre, women are often lesser known than their more shirtless and sweaty counterparts, but that ignorant way of looking at things is shattered because of people like Cheng Pei Pei. Cheng Pei Pei is a renowned actress from Hong Kong who is widely celebrated for her roles in classic martial arts films during the 1960s and 1970s. Since, uh, I think, 80s, 90s. In 1966, she starred in one of her most iconic films as the fearsome Golden Swallow in the film Come Drink With Me. This movie helped to establish her as an iconic figure in the genre and perhaps paved the way for more females to come. She had far-reaching acclaim with audiences, showcasing her martial arts prowess and acting skills in many other films. And through the years, her contributions to martial arts cinema, along with her trailblazing roles as a strong female lead, have left her well-remembered within the industry. Number 8. Su Wong Fan As with many actors from Hong Kong cinema and Asian countries in general, Su Wong Fan would go on to adopt an American name and may be best known as Bruce Fontaine. Unlike many other actors who popularized the genre, Bruce Fontaine is not from any Asian country, but actually hails from Canada, a country not so revered for martial arts 
as it is for an abundance of maple syrup, hockey, bears, and milk in a bag. Fontaine would come to be known more as a mainstay and known name for his remarkable stunt work and fight choreography. In fact, he often appeared in action-packed films alongside martial arts legends like Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, and Jet Li. Much like others who have carved the same path, he's well respected for his dedication to performing his own stunts and creating authentic and breathtaking fight sequences that have earned him loads of respect within the industry. Number 7. Vincent Zhao Born during the early years of the emergence of Hong Kong cinema, Vincent Zhao is a martial artist and actor who gained fame for his portrayal of Wong Fei Hung in the Once Upon a Time in China television series. In the series, Zhao had assumed the exact same role that Jet Li took on in the film adaptations, which no doubt helped to bolster his credentials and put him parallel to some of the more major stars within the industry. Through the years, he continued to take on martial arts roles in films like True Legend, which became a prime showcasing of his dedication to the genre. Vincent Zhao's contributions have added to the legacy of martial arts cinema and has continued to remain a well-respected figure in cinema and the arts. Number 6. Michelle Yao in contemporary times, one of the most recognizable faces in kung fu action cinema may well be Michelle Yao. The Malaysian actress is also a well-versed producer with a remarkable career in both Asian and Western cinema. Beacon of hope and possibilities. This is proof. Known for her graceful yet powerful presence on the screen, she's dazzled audiences with a wide range of roles, from martial arts heroines in films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, to rubbing elbows with 007 himself in the James Bond epic Tomorrow Never Dies. Her talents and skills have earned her recognition as one of the most influential Asian actresses in the world, and her presence in the entertainment industry continues to inspire and empower women around the globe, as she's still very much active in the industry today. Number 5. Mark DeCascos while he's not Asian-born, it doesn't take away from the fact that Mark Dacascos is an amazing martial artist, actor, and television personality who is celebrated for his exceptional skills and contributions to Asian cinema. I think the, the, the key is they don't stop training and learning and working. In addition to his acting ability and physical prowess, he carries a widespread amount of talent as an entertainer, presenter, and personality, and his dedication to his craft has earned him a loyal fan base and with his well-recognizable face, anyone can see him and say, oh, it's that guy, quite easily. His roles in films like John Wick Part 3, Drive, and Brotherhood of the Wolf have solidified his place in action cinema, while his time as a host and presenter on Iron Chef America, as well as roles in popular Western television shows like Hawaii Five-0, have brought him into the living rooms of many would-be chefs for several years now. Number 4. T. Lung the name T. Lung is synonymous with classical martial arts cinema. Made famous for his roles in the legendary Shaw Brothers studio productions during the explosion of the kung fu cinema era, he regularly portrayed heroic characters in several iconic action films over the years, which has done well to solidify his legacy as one of the most well-respected actors in the genre. I just expressed few words from the bottom of my heart. Renowned for his extensive contributions to martial arts cinema, his work with the Shaw Brothers Studio led to iconic performances in movies alongside the likes of David Chang, with whom he would co-star rather frequently. Now at the age of 77, he's enjoyed a decades-long award-winning career that helped to shape the industry of Hong Kong kung fu cinema in ways that he probably never imagined when he first responded to an ad for acting classes. Number 3. Jason Scott Lee Jason Scott Lee is an American actor best known for his portrayal of Bruce Lee in Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story, but also enjoys credits in many of Hollywood's greatest hits like The Jungle Book, Back to the Future Part Two, Lilo and Stitch, and more. I saw the movie as well, and I'm, I'm really pleased with, uh, with what came out. It's, it's just beautiful. Beyond the iconic role of the greatest martial arts actor ever in the history of Asian action cinema, he's also appeared on the small screen in television shows like Hawaii Five-0, Matlock, and even did a reboot for Disney Plus of the classic Doogie Howser MD. His Asian and Hawaiian roots have made him a versatile actor who's been able to cross genres and styles while also maintaining an impressive physique 
and holding true to his martial arts abilities. For his amazing contributions to cinema and television, Asian American magazine Gold Sea recognized him at number 7 on its compilation of the 130 most inspiring Asian Americans of all time. Number 2. Angela Mao Angela Mao is a Taiwanese actress and martial artist celebrated for her pioneering roles in martial arts films during the 1970s that would open doors for many of her female peers to come. Through the years, she's earned major respect for having portrayed strong and independent female characters that have shattered stereotypes and paved the way for many of today's more well-known women in action cinema. Over her career, she would star in 40 films, but in 1992, she retired from the industry to focus on taking care of her family after having remarried. She would relocate to New York and began a successful run as a restaurateur, opening three different restaurants and enjoying her time away from the screen. Now in her 70s, she is still revered for her time in kung fu cinema and the doors that she opened for the female action stars who came afterwards. Number 1. Jackie Chan Next to Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan may well be the most recognizable action star from the kung fu genre there is. His unique blending of martial arts, slapstick humor, and incredible stunt work have made him a global icon through a career that has not only spanned many decades, but also broken barriers into the Western world of cinema and beyond. So does the, oh my God. Like many in his profession, Chan's ability to perform authentic action fighting sequences, combined with his insistence on performing his own stunts, put him light years in front of those before and after him. It's not all been kicks, jumps, and chops, though. Chan has suffered a laundry list of injuries over the years, but always bounced back to make some of the most beloved movies in cinema. From Drunken Master to the Rush Hour series with Chris Tucker, Jackie Chan's charisma and dedication to performing, along with his immense talents, have earned him a special place in the hearts of moviegoers worldwide, influencing many generations of action stars to come. His enduring popularity continues to bring joy to audiences, and his influence on the genre is unparalleled. Well, that's about all the non-stop action I can handle for one day, but how about you? You should be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Check out all the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.